the Lycurgus Cup, a magnificent ancient work of art from the Roman Empire. Its estimated age is 1,600 years. Apart from this beautiful ornamentation, it has a truly outstanding property. When lit from outside, it seems green, yet when lit from the inside, it seems red. How can this be? Scientific researchers, after lengthy study of the cup, discovered that its glass is impregnated with gold particles, about 1,000 times smaller than the thickest of human hair. It is thought that the cup may change color depending on the liquid put inside. Thousands of years ago, Roman craftsmen somehow produced gold particles much smaller than a micron. Today we go even further. By dividing the micron into a thousand, we reach the nanoscale. One billionth of a meter, in other words, a nanometer. This scale may only be perceived with devices working at a molecular level. The science of the design, development and application of functional materials and devices at this scale is called nanotechnology. Nanotechnology is one of the most exciting fields of our age because it can affect every aspect of our lives. It is regarded as the most revolutionary technology of the coming decades after computers. This technology may be applied in areas including health, medicine, cosmetics, the defense industry, communications, transportation, energy, agriculture and many more. Even while novel devices and techniques such as micro-nano integrated circuits, graphene-based OLED screens and transparent and flexible OLED screens are being developed. Projects on the nationalization of OLED manufacturing technologies are also underway. With this technology, it is possible to manufacture screens that are energy efficient, thinner, brighter, lighter, have higher resolution and most importantly, can be flexed. With nanotechnology, it is possible to produce packages that preserve food longer, environmentally friendly batteries, clean energy, long-lasting and self-cleaning paints. Very light but very durable steel vests and smart medicines that recognize unhealthy tissues during treatment. Even being invisible is within the bounds of possibility. This is one of the first places that comes to mind when nanotechnology is mentioned in Turkey. Idiosyncratic architecture inspired by the shapes of human cells, with stairs resembling the DNA helix and cylinders reminiscent of nanotubes. Interdisciplinary laboratories equipped with the best and newest equipment in their fields. This is Sabanji University, Nanotechnology Research and Application Center, Sunum. The center is one of the first in Turkey for multidisciplinary studies. Sunum, which was opened in 2011, was established through the investment of 35 million euros, granted by Turkey's Ministry of Development and the Sabanji Foundation. The objective of this high technology center is to carry out and support scientific and technological research into nanotechnologies. Sunum, which is a national research center, has the distinction of being the first building in Turkey to conform to LEED and BRIAM gold standards. Within its 7,400 square meter structure are found multidisciplinary laboratories, a clean room, an anechoic chamber, as well as office and general purpose spaces. Within the body of Sunum is the clean room of approximately 850 square meters that conform to ISO 14644-1 clean room standards, including rooms specified in ISO 5, ISO 6 and ISO 7 standards, corresponding to class 100, class 1000 and class 10,000. Within these rooms, custom-designed micro- and nanoscaled prototypes and devices are fabricated using fundamental lithography methods on diverse semiconductor, conductor and insulator substrates up to 4 inches in size. The advanced technology and expert staff in Sunum's clean room facility make it possible to manufacture structures at scales approximately a ten-thousandth of the thickness of a human hair. The center shares its activities and experience not only with the scientific world, but also with open doors for all kinds of cooperation with the business world, SMEs and industrialists. At the same time, Sunum serves as an interface for technology transfer. The center contributes to national industry with respect to process improvement and by-product development by cooperating with a broad scope with industry with regards to diverse applications in different industrial sectors. At Sunum, 
application-focused research and projects are carried out in the themes of nanomaterials, life sciences, energy and food, agriculture, water and the environment. These studies are also open to contributions from both academic staff and students within the university, as well as researchers from other universities. Nanomaterials At Sunum, under the nanomaterials theme, the synthesis, design, fabrication, prototyping and advanced characterization of different micron nanoscale materials are carried out. These materials range from carbon-based structures to thin film coats and from ceramic, polymer, non-composites to biomaterials. We frequently encounter these new materials in our daily life, such as glass, metal and plastic coatings in residential projects, materials that prevent bacterial growth in food packages, and biocompatible materials used in medicine research projects that will enable the use of these newly developed materials in different sectors such as end-user directed manufacturing and in diverse healthcare applications are being successfully carried out at the center. Sunum is ready to support its industry in the optimization of manufacturing processes and analytical approaches for nanomaterials with its devices, laboratory infrastructure and academic expertise. Energy the fundamental aim of Sunum's energy theme is to develop systems that use, produce or store energy more efficiently using nanomaterials or nanodesigns. Predominant topics in the field of energy storage are lithium-ion, lion batteries, supercapacitors and hydrogen storage. Another significant subject is energy conversion. The broadest title under which this research is carried out at Sunum is fuel cells. Fuel cells may become the main energy source for land vehicles and small air vehicles. Moreover, larger stationary systems may enable energy generation for houses or larger structures. With nanotechnology, miniature energy storage devices may also be developed by energy harvesting from sources such as the sun, mechanical vibrations and thermal energy. This makes it possible to supply power to smartphones, laptops and similar electronic devices. Food, agriculture, water and the environment. The increasing world population makes food security one of our most significant concerns. At Sunum, studies performed under this theme are using nanotechnology to generate solutions to the need for sustainable and safe food and water. The center is focusing on the development of new technologies and products that will enable processes, such as improvement of basic agricultural products through molecular breeding, the development of packages that increase the shelf life and safety of foods, and innovative approaches to the treatment of industrial waste water, obtaining drinking water from the sea and the control of gases that cause climate change. Sunum collaborates with universities and farmers in order to promote sustainable agricultural production and with agricultural research institutes and food industry professionals to determine the problems faced by agriculture. For example, the losses caused by diseases and pests in hazelnut production, which is one of Turkey's biggest export items, may be decreased by means of nanotechnology. Productivity decreasing factors detected by nanobiological methods may be used to give producers early warning against a disease outbreak. Life Sciences The Life Sciences theme focuses on the diagnosis of illnesses and preventative medicine. For diagnosis, prototype designs and tests for domestic imaging systems are being developed. The Life Sciences theme's second field is treatment, in which research focuses on the development of new molecules and smart nanomedicines for treating many illnesses with targets including cancer and rare diseases. At Sunum, in the field of preventative medicine, DNA-based biosensor molecules are being developed for the detection of bacteria that cause food poisoning. Projects supported by national and international funds are working to transform biosensors that enable early diagnosis of disease into simple medical devices suitable for use at home or in hospitals. Sunum is built on these distinctives. Research in which collaboration is paramount. Increasing public welfare by sharing scientific developments adding value to the economy through improvements that increase the efficiency of manufacturing processes and thus 
by increasing added value in economy and attaching a special importance to the cooperation of university and industry. Sunom is continuing her scientific journey with the aim of being a multidisciplinary nanotechnological research and application centre that is active 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, not only in Turkey but also on the global scale, and invites everyone to join this journey.